Hi, welcome back. So this is the PSLE Math 2025, Math Made Easy, Mixed Fruit Juice Questions Concerning Proportions, also known as uh, Rate. So actually, Rate and Proportions is more or less the same chapter. And uh, let's begin. So it says here that there was 600 ml of apple juice and one liter of orange juice that was mixed to form a mixed fruit juice. Okay, so they put them together and you get what we call a mixed fruit juice. Question is how much apple juice is needed to create five liters of mixed fruit juice? All right, so the very first thing you want to check for questions like this is are the units the same? Okay, and at an immediate glance, you can see that these two are not clearly, they are not the same units. So what you want to do is you want to change everything to the same units, all right? So if we change everything to the same units, it will look like this. Apple juice to orange juice is, let me straighten that. I have no idea why it's always crooked. Is 600 ml to one liter, okay? Now you can't proceed like this, you need to change them to the same units. It's one of the rules of ratio. So now I'm going to change this to 600 ml. This remains the same. And one liter is 1000 milliliters. Then I'm going to remove the milliliters to simplify it to 600 is to 1000. And then simplify it further by removing the two zeros from each of them and then dividing this by two. So if I divide six by two, I get three, 10 divided by two, I get five, okay? And when you mix them together, you get what we call a mixed fruit juice. So this means that for every three units of apple juice, you will need five units of orange juice. And together, they will make eight units of mixed fruit juice, okay? Now, next, it says that uh, they need to create five liters of mixed fruit juice, which means that this represents the five liters, okay? So if we were to draw this out as a simple model, Okay, so this represents the mixed fruit juice because I'm about to cut this into eight parts. All right, so the eight here represents eight units and this eight units is the mixed fruit juice which will add up to five liters. Now, five liters is 5,000 milliliters because one liter is 1000 and we have eight units okay so we have eight units here so if this is eight units we can find one unit so to find one unit all i got to do is take 5000 and divide this by eight all right if i divide 5000 by eight I should get 625, but let me double check. Yep, I get 625. So I get 625 milliliters, which is one unit. And the question is asking you to find apple juice. Apple juice is three units. So effectively, that means that each of these boxes represent 625 ml and you want to find apple juice, okay? And since apple is three units, then they are actually asking you to find this, three units here. So how do you find three units? Simple, right? If one unit is 625, then three units will be three times 625. So apple, which is three units, will be 625, times three. Okay, I believe this is 1875, but let me double check. Yes, I get 1875. 
And then you've got to ask yourself, have you answered the question? Okay, this is a mistake most students make, right? They don't check. So it says here, how much apple juice? And they are asking for, oh, it, it doesn't state here, but I believe in the actual question, they did ask for liters, uh, unless I'm mistaken. Otherwise, anyway, let's learn, all right? So if the question is to find liters, then uh, you will need to take 1875, and you divide this by a thousand. Okay, this is just for learning purposes. Okay, and one eight seven five is actually one eight seven five point zero. If you divide this by a thousand, it will move the decimal back three steps to go between the one and the eight, leaving you with one point eight seven five liters as your answer to the question. Okay, unless they ask you for ml, then it's one eight seven five. I don't know. I'm not sure, but you know, right? Okay. Anyway, this is the answer. If you found it useful. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, notification, so that you will know when a new video comes out. I have lots of them. You can go and watch on the playlist for all the rest of the questions of the PSIE 2025 questions. I don't have all the questions. If you have any, you can send it to me. And for the younger ones in P4 and P5, you can go and watch my other playlist with other PSIE questions from previous years. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.